Pyrites are doing good. This is Apana, your Maths Master Teacher at Vedantu. So we are welcome you guys to our Maths Pyrites channel. So guys, if you are coming for the first time on the channel, do hit the like button. And with our motto, Joom Barabar Joom, Maths Ki Sari Problems, Boom! We are going to boom another very very important topic for the chapter, Linear Equation in One Variable. That is how to solve the linear equations when you have variable on both the sides of the equation. Means you have the variable on LHS as well as and in RHS also. Okay. So let us quickly see how we are going to solve it. So again the methods are very very similar like we did earlier. That is balancing method and another is yes transposing method. So let us quickly see what was balancing method. So this was the balancing method. Can you see this? 5x minus 2 is equal to 3x plus 4. So again we are going to eliminate the extra thing. So first of all we are eliminating 3x from the right hand side. So if we want to eliminate 3x from right hand side we have to subtract 3x from RHS. So we are just putting minus 3x on RHS. So 3x minus 3x, 0. If you are 3x minus kar rahe ho RHS, then again you have to do it in the LHS also, both the sides. So what is the answer? 2x minus 2 is equal to 4. Simple? Yes. Now we are going to eliminate minus 2 from the LHS. Minus 2 eliminate, how do we do it? If we want to eliminate minus 2, then we do plus 2 on both sides. Plus 2, kar do, adding 2 on the both sides of the equation. So, 2x minus 2 plus 2, kya ho gaya? 2x. And here, 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Simple. Now, x is equal to 3 as 2 is going to on the right hand side and divided by 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Now, let us quickly see how to solve this particular question with the help of transposing method. Chalo, ajo, isko fata fat se transposing method se karke dekhte hain. Kaun method? Transposing method. Guys, I love this method because it is really, really chill and organic method. So, if you like to solve it with the help of balancing or transposing, you can do whatever you like. So, let us solve this question with the help of balancing method. So, taking variables on one side, 5x minus 3x is equal to 4 plus 2. So we have taken 3x to the LHS, so minus 3x and taken this minus 2 on the RHS to plus 2. Now quickly solve this. Just kuch nahi bacha is mein, fata fata solve kar do. 5x minus 3 kya ho gaya? 2x or 4 plus 2, 6. So x is equal to 6 by 2, that is 3. So x is equal to 3. Answer to same other. But fata fata transposing your data so whatever your method you like you can follow that okay so guys let us quickly see another very very important example for transposing so can you see here we have to quickly solve this particular expression 3 bracket x plus 1 how can we simplify this using distributive property so I hope everybody knows this yes so if you have any problem with the distributive property go and watch the introduction session of rational number which I have done earlier okay now let's quickly solve this with the help of distributive property so 3 into x 3x 3, x, 3 into 1 3 so 3x three plus 1 similarly 4 into x 4x 4, x, 4 mi into minus 2 that is minus 8 simple yes now let's quickly simplify this how taking variables on the one side so 3x minus 4x taking 4x on the lhs and minus 8 and minus 3 taking plus 3 on the rhs so minus 3 now 3 minus of 4 so minus of 1 that is minus x and here minus 11 minus 8 minus 3 okay na Chalo pata pata se ab isko cancel out kar dete hain. So x is equal to 11. I hope it is clear to everybody. Yes? Okay, okay. So if you have understood this, hit the like button guys. Quickly hit the like button. Now, so first question which we are going to solve. How to solve this guys? You can have any, any method, whichever you like to do. 
and you can follow that okay it's it's your choice it's your completely your choice okay so firstly you are going to simplify this how can we simplify this minus 7x minus 3x kya ho gaya fatafat se bata do minus 10x plus 2 and ye aa gaya as it is now we are going to eliminate minus 10x so how can we eliminate minus 10x we can eliminate minus 10x by adding 10x to each side of the equation so fatafat se add kar diya aur aa gaya 2 is equal to 2x minus 8 simple now we have to eliminate this 8 so adding 8 on both the sides so it became 10 is equal to 2x now dividing 2 we got 5 equal to x that means x is equal to 5 i hope it is clear to everybody yes now before i move further and solve few more very important question and tell you how to just apply this logic into the question how to do statement types of question we are going to see one very very important announcement so vedantu has come up with the pro subscription life plan so in this plan you are going to get everything guys so you will be getting live classes live interactive classes from india's most best master teachers and complete curriculum will be provided to you now let us quickly solve another very important question can you see on your screen yes now let us quickly solve this question very very simple question let us see how to simplify this so can we just simplify this with the help of distributive property yes so it became 2x square 3x plus 1 so let us solve now what it is again you are going to use the property 2x square plus 9x plus 9 minus 14 simple yes now subtract 2x square from each side you are going to subtract what 2x square from both the side to eliminate 2x from one side okay so we are going to subtract it so let's do this so we got 3x plus 1 9x minus 5 now we are going to eliminate this 3x from lhs so let's subtract 3x from both the side so we got 1 is equal to 6x minus 3 as we know 9x minus 3x is 6x so we are going to add 5 again to eliminate the extra thing so we got 6 is equal to 6x so we got x is equal to 1 how So see here, guys. Six by six is nothing but one. Now we are going to take this six on the elevator. I hope it is clear to everybody. Now let us quickly see one application based of question. So how to apply these types of questions on these statement types of question? How to formulate equation? बहुत सिंपल है गाइस बहुत सिंपल है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट लेट अस क्विकली रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट क्वेश्चन इज टेलिंग यू सो आरोन इज 5 इयर्स यंगर देन रॉन सो व्हाट इज टोल्ड टू यू दैट आरोन इज 5 इयर्स यंगर देन रॉन सो रॉन इज द लेटर वन सो यू हैव टू लेट द एज ऑफ Ron, which is in present age, is x. Okay, so you have let that. So definitely, Arun's age would be x minus five because Arun is younger than Ron. Okay, so x minus five. Now, four years later, four years later, मतलब चार साल के बाद, Ron will be twice as old as Arun. Ron will be twice as old as Ron. Ron, Arun. So Ron, after four years, he would be x plus four because present age is x. So after four years, plus four years, ठीक है? So x plus four, simple. Now after four years, Arun age क्या हो जाएगी? X minus five, जो कि present age है Arun की, और उसमें चार साल आप add कर दोगे. Four years add कर दोगे. Simple है? चलो पट्टा पट्ट से इसको हम एक solve कर लेते हैं. So we know that Arun will be Twice as old as Arun, according to the question. So therefore, can we say that x plus four, that is Ron's age after four years, will be equal to twice of Arun's age, that is x minus y plus four. Yes. So can we solve this? Because this is definitely Ron's age. Yes. So x plus four is equal to two x minus one. So by simplifying this, RHS you got two x minus two. Now let's see. So we got x minus 2x is equal to minus 2 minus 4 by 
transposing the things. Right? So minus x is equal to minus 6. Or ye minus se minus kata or agya answer x is equal to 6. I hope it is clear to everybody. So if there is any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. Alright, my virates. Okay. Now, so let's quickly see what is Arun's percentage. What is Arun's percentage? So x minus 5 is equal to 6. 6 is the value of x. So 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. And Ron's present age would be 6 years. And Arun's present age would be 1 year. I hope it is clear. Now this is the homework time my kids. I know my pirates will do definitely the homework. Guys you have to apply this similar concept in the homework as well. So quickly guys note down the homework wherever you want to. And this is the homework for you guys. A number is divided into two parts such that one part is 10 more than the other. If the two parts are in the ratio 5 is to 3, find the number and two parts. So this is really, 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 really amazing question. You have to, have to try this and do let me know what are your answer guys, okay? So do let me know your answer in the comment section, okay? Okay, so again I would like to remind you guys, if you are willing to take classes regularly on Vedantu for every subject, every chapter, you have to take plan, pro, light, where you have to go on to the description box, select karo, subscription link vaha par diya hoga, click karo, aap apna grade select karo, 8th class mein hoon, to 8th class select karo, phir uski baad, CBSC 2021 target kar rahe ho na exam yes phir us pe click karo get subscription pe click karo kya milega isme guys aapko isme aapko unlimited access milegi kiski live classes ki sari live classes so all the time we teachers are taking different teachers are taking different chapters so you have all the access of those live classes all the modular all the long term classes plus you will be able to interact with the teacher through the chat box okay also you will get notes assignment test series everything possible very very important for example ayar aap 4 baje nahi kar sakte kuch kaam hai so you can take up class at 7 pm so you have the flexibility of time also here also you can watch the replays of the session so everything is given to you in this pro subscription life plan for the six months it is giving you 48 percent discount just apply the coupon code 80 pro and you will get additional additional 15 percent discount guys and you will get this offer at 8499 so go on but what are you waiting guys for six months you don't have to take tension for your exams okay now so let us let us quickly see our today's challenge so what is our today's challenge are you guys ready yes i know my pirates can boom all the challenges and give me the result in the comment section so guys i do watch all of your responses and see who is giving me correct and what you guys are suggesting so always you can write down whatever suggestion you want to give me in the comment section i always read them guys okay so this is the challenge of the day so you have to solve this equation in which you have been given the variable on the both the side. So you can use transposing method or the balancing method. I know you guys are perfect in both the methods. So guys, we will definitely solve the NCRT exercise on this chapter, on this topic also. So don't worry guys, after NCRT we will do Adi Sharma, RS Agrawal and your favorite part that is menti okay so do let me know what else you guys want me to do in these sessions okay so what suggestions you are going to give me give me in the comment section so that i can know that okay so thank you so much guys we'll see you in the next session bye guys